Hello and welcome to what I believe is the most important tip for beginners and veterans alike in Baldur's Gate 3. My name is Poe Mew, and with countless hours in Dungeons and & Dragons and over 135 hours in Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access, here is the most important tip I can give you. Take notes. That's right, you should be writing down information about your video game. The value of note-taking cannot be overstated. This is an enormous game with over 174 hours of cinematics, three acts of story, and an unknown but large amount of locations to explore. You won't remember everything you discover, even with your 20 intelligence wizard, but that doesn't mean that information needs to be lost. Simply jotting down quick notes about NPCs you meet, interesting facts about locations, or possible hints to find the secret loot will mean you get to add on to your story and the content within it. Note-taking doesn't mean that you have to write down every detail, and Baldur's Gate 3 makes your note-taking easier than a regular tabletop game. It already includes a quest log, character sheets for your companions, inventory screen, and a map that is revealed as you explore. You get to focus on writing down information that you are interested in. Only care about finding hidden treasure? You got it. Want to record the lore of the world? Write down. Want to record how your companions react to certain NPCs or story beats? Also a great idea. The value in note-taking is not only that you record the information, but you are more likely to remember it as well. It can also help you immerse yourself in your character's story. They would remember these details, because what may only be a few minutes for them could be a week between gaming sessions for you, the player. Now I hear you. Poem you. Where do I even take notes? Well, do not worry, viewer, for I have some tried and true recommendations. The first, classic pencil and paper. Doesn't get any easier than this. Quickly jot down notes and keep the pace moving. A small notebook or even just a sheet of paper will do. Remember, pencil, not pen. Learn from our mistakes and never use a pen. Erasers are your friend. The second is an online option such as Google Documents or OneNote. I prefer OneNote for myself for its ease of use and easy organization abilities. If you have another way you prefer taking notes in your tabletop RPGs, please let me know down below in the comments and maybe your method would work better for others than the ones that I have recommended. With a place to put your notes down, let's look at some simple tips for how to effectively take notes. First off, don't spend too much time taking notes. This isn't an essay, and you won't be winning any prizes for lengthy descriptions, though if that's what you want to do, go for it. A simple sentence or two could be enough to remind you of your first thoughts about an NPC you met. If this NPC keeps showing up, then maybe you start to write down more details about them. Being concise means less time writing and more time playing. Second. Don't worry about spelling or organization at first. The most important thing is that you put the information down while it's fresh in your mind. You can always go back and fix spelling mistakes later. Third, when you reach a good spot, make sure to organize your notes. The last thing you want is to look at your notes and your information from Act 1 and Act 3 are mixed together, or you wrote down that you heard about this cool sword but can't remember the NPC that mentioned it or where they were. There are countless ways to organize your note taking and everyone has their own preferences, so I will simply say, find your style. I like to organize everything by location, that way I can loosely follow my footsteps back if something remains unclear, but do what makes you the most comfortable. Lastly, don't fall into the trap that your character wouldn't care or isn't smart enough to remember these things. There are two reasons I say this. The first is, when your life is under constant threat from dragons, devils, evil wizards, and other enemies, your character would probably remember the key details about them and the world around them since their survival depends on it. If that's not a good enough reason, then remember that you are, at the end of the day, a player playing a game. Maybe my barbarian doesn't care about the hidden lore of how mind flayers were created, but I, as a player, do. If something sounds interesting to you, write it down. While I know that being told to take notes while gaming may seem boring or like homework, I encourage you to give it a try. You may find that it helps you connect to the story and your character, and most importantly, of course, help when you find secret treasure. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Baldur's Gate 3 content. On release, I will be streaming Baldur's Gate 3 over on my Twitch channel, link down below in the description if you want to come and hang out on our adventures. That's all for today, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.